the person that's at number one, LeBron James, LeBron James is at number one. You know why? Because he could do everything. He's been doing it for a longer amount of time at a higher pace than anybody else for 20 years. He didn't go take a break in 1990. Three, because he had to take a break. He played the whole time. You know why? They were like, oh, he won a three-peat, another three-peat. You know why? Because he took time off. He was able to recuperate his body. Everybody else who's playing this long and has to keep going and going and going, you would have eventually, you would eventually lose. No way you're winning six in a row or eight in a row, which would have, would have been. You would have had to win eight in a row for him to get well, the little hype that we talk about him for winning six in a row. Y'all be like, oh, he need to beat Houston and Houston. I don't know if he beat Houston twice. Hmm, maybe not. But LeBron did something amazing. He came back three against one against one of the best teams in NBA history, if not the best team in NBA history. The second best team in NBA history because the Golden State Warriors the next year when they got Kevin Durant, I don't care what you say, that was the best team in NBA history. They had Kevin Durant, Steph Curry, Clay Thompson, and Draymond with a lot of role players that were amazing. So my list would be LeBron James there who did it what nobody else thought he could do, come back from 3-1. And he carried, he won four championships. And he did in a day and age where it's tougher than before because the talent is better, Rudy, 